Good afternoon everyone, it's the dude from the Pacific Northwest and in today's video we're going to do a little bit of scouting once again. I just ran into an individual, a local here in the area that I'm at and he saw me looking for carp and I was using the spear gun, I was using the bowfishing kit and he told me about an area that's not too far from where I am to go scout and check it out. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, stay tuned, let's scout some areas and I don't know, hopefully we find a next best spot. The spawn season's coming up, Father's Day weekend, a week before, week after, that's like about the peak of the season. And he said, you could just go out there, you could shoot anything in that direction, you could pick them off one by one. So let's see if this is fairy tale or if this is legit. All right, so we made it to the area. The local that I was talking to told me that around Father's Day, it's about that weekend where this, you know, the spawn is at its peak. I think it's a little sooner than that, but regardless, it's about late spring, early summer. He said that a lot of the carp, so there's a big dam that runs off water down here, obviously you can see, but fur further down, it starts to slow down. And what a lot of the carp do, according to him, is they're just in the area and it's essentially like a gold mine. Yeah, first let me show you guys how fast this runoff is going. That is terrifying. I could not even imagine taking a kid here and God forbid your kid fell into something like that, it's over. You can run and you can chase all you want and any parent would, but oh, what a scary thought. Scary, scary thought. Anywho, let's go ahead. We're taking the hike. That's going to be fun to walk up, huh? Part of me was going to risk taking my car down here. <laughs> I have a false sense of uh, belief that I think my car could come down here and get its way back up. But I really hate to call in a favor this late in the day from somebody in case I got stuck. And then there's always the person that asks you, why would you think that's a good idea? Well, I, I thought it was a good idea at the time, but that's why we have hindsight. Just for some perspective on the speed. Instantly gone. Whoo, that's scary to think about. Any normal person will look at this oh, and tremble. It's so terrifying to think about falling in or oh oh that's scary so the local said that obviously the water is not going to uh, run this fast or hard forever they're only doing this because it's springtime to open up uh, irrigation for all the farm and the lake and uh, so when this water slows down what happens is a lot of the carp will come up the river and then they stay in this general area according to him and they spawn here now, if there's an ounce of truth to that statement, this right here would be a perfect spot to pick them off. And uh, obviously the water wouldn't be running so fast, so it wouldn't be as scary. But the truth is, I don't see a scenario where I can get a boat out of here. So, I mean, I'd give it a shot, a couple shots, try it out and see what this guy's talking about. And uh, yeah, it doesn't hurt still in the same area that I like to go fishing. It's a five, 10 minute drive from the swamp. So definitely worth the shot. Good to know. I'm pretty happy I didn't take my car down here because looking at it, they have little pothole areas and my car is uh, it's not a lifted truck. So I would get stuck all on this. There is no scenario where I go up and down this road and don't damage my car more than I have or get stuck I have to call somebody for a favor oil pan would be busted it'd, it'd just be a mess just just look at this uh -huh. Woo! mother nature truly has no discrimination rich poor 
doesn't matter. Mother Nature will take you in, kill you, and won't think twice about it. So, it's stuff like this that makes you realize that you're not immortal. Anything can happen to anybody. Yeah, check out this area. Oil pan, oil pan. I mean, look, I just stepped in this. And this is the level. I mean, it goes right to my, to my knees. I mean, as cool as I think my Civic is, I don't think it survives this. And just for some perspective, let's throw some rocks in this, this creek one more time, just because it's a, it's one of those cool phenomenons, huh? Hundred bucks for the first person to grab the tube and ride this. This right here is the ultimate lazy river. Look at that. Now I too enjoy myself a lazy river here and there. But this, this doesn't look like it'd be relaxing. Maybe up there for a moment. But down here, I don't think so. Let's throw some rocks. I just have to throw a rock. I can't help myself. That's faster than my car. And that's me being nice. Another one. Oh. That ain't no lazy river, that's for sure. Some some lava looking rock. Let's do some do some rapid fire. They gone. Anywho, that concludes scouting for today. Again, and as always, I am the dude from the Pacific Northwest, hiking up back to my car. And uh, who knows, a couple months from now, I might find herself shooting in this area. According to the local, he was giving me some fairy tales about it being like a golden river. There's so many carp, there's less water than there are fish. But I think everybody knows how some of these fishing stories tend to be a little exaggerated. So, anywho, I'm the dude. Like, subscribe, comment, anything you'd like to see. Any feedback on these videos, audio, control, if I'm talking too much, not talking enough, Whatever, anything I can do to improve the channel, make it more enjoyable for you guys. Signing out, see you in the next one.